Welcome to this new video from the ASAR 3D channel. We will see together how the volume scatter and the volume absorption node work separately. Then together, we will also see their effects on three different types of light. We will then see how to use these two nodes by combining them with the sunlight, a world environment and a background image. The volume scatter node is used to scatter light in a volume. It is either attached to a material or to the world. It is possible to scatter only a specific color. Complementary colors are then not affected by the effect. Its density can be set from 0 to 1. 0 does not scatter anything and 1 prevents all light from passing through. Anisotropy controls the appearance of the scattering effect depending on the direction of light passing through it. We will start with a very simple scene. It is made up of a ground, a car and three types of light. Let's start by studying the situation with only one spot and add a white environment color to see the effect of the volume scatter node. Now link the volume scatter node to the world output node. All the scene becomes black because the node parameters correspond to an absolute diffusion. By changing the density to zero, the diffusion is suppressed. Now enter a value of 0.1 to see an ice cone of light. When rendering with a denoizer, you get this result. It's cool, isn't it? Now let's change the type of light to see what it looks like. And now with a light point. Let's go back to spotlight and change the value of the anisotropy field. You can see the power of the reflected surface increasing. Now change the color to blue. You can see that the outside of the cone turns blue, but the inside combines the color red and green to give yellow. In fact only blue is scattered, not the other colors. The volume absorption node is used to gradually absorb light as it passes through a volume. And its density can be set on a scale of 0 to 1. 0 corresponds to no absorption, 1 corresponds to complete and immediate absorption. Now let's test the volume absorption node. You can see that the higher the density, the less illuminated the car is. This is normal since the light is absorbed. Adjust the density to 0 0.1 and now link the two volume nodes. Change the colors to blue. You will find that only the blue is diffused or absorbed. This effect is different than if we had created a spot with blue light. To better understand the effects of colorization, here are some examples. Let's finish this part of the video by testing the other lights. We saw how the volume nodes worked with lamps. Now we will see how to perform similar effects with a sun and a background. Before we start, let's see why it is not possible to use world output with an environment background or a sunlight. Using the volume scatter node in the world environment, the background will always be black and the light from the sun lamp will be fully absorbed. Here is another scene that we are going to use to create light rays. 
Now let's add a cube that encompasses the garage. Let's add to this cube a material that will manage the scattering and the absorption of lye within it. Let's remove the main shader and add the volume notes as before. If we render now, the light rays will appear, the sunlight will be visible, the world environment will be taken into account and the background image will be visible. But to avoid fireflies, let's see how to denose the rendering. Here is the composition of the scene. Let's add a denoise node, activate transparency on recycle and activate the denoising past. Link the render layer node to the denoise node as shown and enjoy the result. Thanks you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Other types of videos are available on my channel.